how much you felt the defensive line. Uh, how do you felt how do you felt that way? Well. Yeah, I felt like in the beginning, I had um, after sitting home and missing the season, I felt like I had to get my feet back up under me. And once I got my confidence back, and I realized I'm like, I can help this team. Like, and so uh, I feel good though. Learning, getting, getting back from a technique, learning new things from a new coach because he's teaching me some stuff that I didn't know. But overall, it's just great. I'm blessed to be back on the field, just having fun. What, what do you think you're able to bring uh, to this team, just from a leadership? Just, just a, uh, one knowledge, obviously, because I've been through a lot, and just you know, I see younger guys, and they remind me of myself. You know, when I was a freshman, you know, sophomore. So, just uh, telling guys that you know, keep trust the process. You know, trust the process. Keep your head down. Keep grinding. Keep fighting. And because I'm, I'm, I'm living. It, you know, I'm trying to just keep fighting. Keep faith in God and just keep staying positive. That's, that's what I feel like. Knowledge. Knowledge. And as we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. And when a problem does arise, our technical experts can quickly resolve it. In many cases, before you're even aware that there was a problem at all. For an affordable fee, we'll provide the monitoring, technical support, and full problem resolution you need to stay productive. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. How difficult has the past year been? How do you describe it? A little frustrating, but I mean, with the team I have at home, with people just uh, helping me, get to where I am today and just, it taught me a lot. Cause you know, when you have everything, you know, you take it for granted, you know, like you, it would be some days I'll be like, you know, man, you know, dreading practice and stuff. But now, like this is my sanctuary. I come, I don't even think about what's going on in the outside. When I'm on the field, I just can have fun. Like I said, I got my confidence back. Like I'm, I'm feeling good. So you mentioned uh, the young guys just coming for knowledge. What what young guys specifically have just been been coming up to you, just talking to you and? Uh, Lattes, La uh, you know, the Gaddies, you know, really. Uh, I just anybody. It could be an offensive lineman. It could be anybody. I just you know feel like I can help. You know, offensive lineman should help defensive lineman. Defensive lineman should help offensive lineman. You know, and so just you know, it's not nobody in particular, but you know, just anybody who's willing to come and ask me anything, I'm willing to help this team because you know I feel like we could do great things. Byron, are you pretty confident that you can sort of almost reach your potential now? Are you feeling pretty yeah. pretty good about it? Yeah, I feel really good. Like, it's so crazy just just know where I was mentally and how I lost myself and I was doubting myself. But now I really believe that I can play football. Like, at one point, I, doubt, I was like, can I even do this anymore? So, but, you know, the guys here, knowing my story, knowing what I went through, helping me, you know, motivating me, you know, telling me to keep fighting, keep pushing, and, you know, just, I got my confidence back, you know, being able to be on the field, run around and have fun. Like, it's just, they be blowing me away sometimes. Like, yeah, it's fun. How much has it helped already having a relationship with DJ Derrick? It's, it's good, but, you know, at the end of the day, um, you still, it really don't affect anything, you know. It's just, it's a good opportunity. You know, you're giving me a great opportunity to come and play, so. How did you come up with the number nine being your size? I wanted number six when I, but because of Dante Fowler, you know, uh, he's from my area and stuff. But I, I'm not gonna go with six. I go with nine because I was 99 in high school, so I was like, you know, hopefully if I do what I'm supposed to do in college, once you get to the league, it's no more low numbers for yeah. D linemen. So I'm like, why not? Let's have fun. What was the moment when it all turned back on? It turned back on. I can say the first, the first practice, I was getting my feet wet, trying to just get accustomed to everything, but I think that second practice, you know, I, I just got my confidence and I was just like, you know, I can do this, you know. And it was just, it's still clicking, you know, I, I don't have everything down pat, but just to know that, you know, everybody's so welcoming and everybody's willing to work with me and, you know, just know that, you know, I, I, I had a year off. I'm not going to come in being, a, you know, All-American, so. Did the joy start to bubble back up? Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Just to be here. Once I got on the campus, I'm like, I done beat the odds again. You know, I got another opportunity. You know, I got to do the best I can to, to make this work because this is my last shot. You, you were always a pretty 
outspoken guy in high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, are you just kind of a natural leader? I mean, is that something that just kind of comes naturally to you? Um, when I'm in the right situation, like, my thing is I try to lead by example. You know, I don't want to be the guy, you know, talking, 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 not doing anything. And so, like I say, you know, when I have my confidence and I know I'm going to show up, yeah, I'm, I'm going to make sure my guys show up too. And so, you know, they, I feel like they trust me and they look at me to be one of the guys that can help this team. So, I mean, I always told my mom, like, man, I try to just lead by example. But she say, if it's natural to you, it's just going gonna, gonna to happen and people just going to follow you. So, right, when you were being the recruited, what sold you on Maryland? Uh, just, I was looking at Maryland coming out of high school, and obviously, you know, it was an opportunity. You know, um, the coaches, the coaching staff, great, and obviously, I, I'm familiar with them. So, you know, just to know that I have an opportunity to play, and then I knew some of the guys like Jesse and Derwin and all those guys. So, I mean, it just, like I said, the opportunity, a great opportunity. Uh, System wise, are you playing inside at all, or are you strictly outside? I'm uh, in and out, you know, wherever they want me, but uh, yeah, in and out. Has there been a lot to juggle both? Mm, no, sir. Uh, it's funny, the guys ask me, like, how you know some of the plays? But obviously, I mean, I mean, football is, you know, everybody pretty much run the same thing. So just different terminology and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm familiar with some of the, uh, the defense. So. Outside of football, is there anything about this move to Maryland that you can appreciate? The cold. I'm getting used to the weather. <laughs> but other than that, just like I'm from the city, you know, Tampa, Florida, and this is kind of the same place. So, I mean, I'm just, like I said, I'll just be overwhelmed with just being in school again, you know, sitting home, watching my guys play at Auburn, watching just football, just, like I said, when you lose it, you really, it's a, it's a wake up call. It's like, you gotta make something happen. And now that I'm here, I just wanna make the best of whatever I can do, however I contribute. I just wanna have fun and really take advantage of being in college. Uh, PlayStation or Xbox? Xbox, Xbox. Who, who do you play with the most? Uh, I've been playing with the Falcons. Uh, the Falcons lately. Uh, I feel like they got a great defense. Like, so I play with the I like Freeman. Yeah, my Miami Central guy. We played against those guys. So yeah, I like the uh, Falcons. On Madden. What are your expectations for yourself this season? Myself is just um, obviously just ball hard. You know, keep my head up and stay positive. I can't be down on myself because you know people in the world are gonna be down on me. Like, you know, so I just gotta keep positive people around me, stay positive, keep good thoughts, keep God first, and just trust in my team and my coaches. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.